All right, so just gonna get some reps in, doing some circus dumbbell with Martins. He's got this event in the Arnold. I'm just having fun, ask him some questions, get some pointers. Uh, this is an event a lot of people struggle with. He's pretty good at it. So let's go. Martins, you got three circus dumbbell tips? Uh, so one thing is uh, that I've been learning from Mateusz and uh, Novkov is to try to be, start narrow and then uh, that way you're going to have a deeper drop when you split your legs. Mm. You want to also have a slight tilt, which you do very well, Joey. Very slight tilt of the torso, so that way you can make sure that the center of the, of the dumbbell is uh, above your center. So that way when you drive your legs into it, it goes directly into the dumbbell mm -hmm. rather than the, you know, if you're trying to be upright and then all your force goes on the air rather than into the dumbbell. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is trying to find the shouldering position where the weight of the dumbbell is on your body and not in your arm. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Um, other than that, there's many different techniques. Like some people like go like wide stance. I'm tr I've been switching more to a narrow uh, launching stance. And um, I like to do a lot of, sometimes I like to do windmills as an accessory mm -hmm. just to build up the, uh, the yeah. core strength to handle it. And also the shoulder stability to be able to catch, uh, catch that lock in that bent over position. Yeah. Yeah, what I really like about what you're doing is it's, it's stacked like wrist over elbow over shoulder, center mass, yeah. so you're like using your body versus your arm to carry exactly. that Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, what do you think you're going to try to get up to today? I have no idea. I'm really going by feel. 160 yeah, so, 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 Yeah, I wish. Maybe for my teens. Um, so right now it's 160 pounds. Um, I don't really know where my circus dumbbell is at right now. I've done 200 for eight reps before 200 pounds for your reps but that's the most i've ever done it's like martin says a strategy here there you go Note to self, put your belt on before you do that. Nah, be a man. Nah, be a man. <laughs> be, be, a man. be a man. So is uh, two wrist wraps on the same arm a common thing? Well, backstory is I forgot my wrist wraps. Every time I travel, I forget one thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, I forgot to my wrist wraps. I have wrist, wrist wraps. Maybe I'll use that because these ones I feel like are not cutting it that well. They're a little smaller. Little but good. yeah. Aw, that's a nice uh, competitor. Fancy schmancy. But um, typically what I do is I wrap one lower mm -hmm. and then I put a normal one on and this one just cushions the dumbbell so it's not digging into my arm. The last thing you want to be doing is thinking about pain when you're trying to do something. Oh, and that hurts. Yeah, it hurts. It's sharp and it digs and it's heavy. Real Mark's going to tell me to be a man and then I'm going to elbow him. And, okay. I fucking hate dumbbell. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, so I'll wrap up and that just gives me a little bit more support and more comfortable. But I now I just gave my secret away. Do you do that, like typically, Martins? Will you wrap like two or lower? I just put on a uh, elbow oh, okay. sleep over you, my. You have something there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So not. It's basically you need some comfort throughout the lift so you can execute the lift. Exactly. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, try without it, and you'll see how painful it is. It sucks. Yeah. So by doing that, we get a little bit more support, and it doesn't hurt as bad. We can focus more on. Executing the lift. There like you Sam go. Said. Well, hey, if you don't want to put your secrets out there. No, I want my edit, secrets edit, out edit. there because then my competition gets better, forces me to get better because that's what being a man's all about. Putting your secrets out. Both arms? This time I'm gonna do a left. Why is that? My right shoulder's hurting. Oh, so you, but will you, have you been training with both arms? On and off. Okay. Yeah. So first time, uh, yeah, I've always wanted to build up yeah. equal. Never know, right? Typically yeah. my right arm is much stronger. Okay. 
But uh, I remember in 2020, my uh, right arm was shutting off from nerve damage. So I had to get a whole PR on my left arm. Oh, wow. The 280 pound dumbbell on my left arm. Never touched anything over 230 on my left arm before. Wow, you did 280 with it? Yeah. That's crazy. I had to like reteach myself how to use my left arm. Oh, so it's in my ability. And it gives you a competitive advantage. Yeah. Yeah. You never know when you're going to need the other arm. What are we doing next? Yeah. We'll go up uh, 10 pounds each side. Just slow and steady. I really haven't done this since uh, a couple months before I actually tore my bicep. Yeah. The preacher curls. No, no eye contact. No eye contact. I, don't, I haven't looked at it since, but it's we are in Sorry. the same room, but we don't really look at each other. Okay. This thing with my left arm, I cannot find a comfortable position on my shoulder. Hi, Joey. Easy. All right, let's do singles. One eighty. Dang, he's done a hundred pounds heavier on his left arm. That's pretty crazy. Martins, you could be honest. This is not a great dumbbell. It's, it's okay. You don't. It, <laughs> I won't be offended. I'm not offended. But you just got your answer right there. Sure. <laughs> she's holding together. <laughs> she is. She's like that old reliable first car. You know that like yeah. you'd be put 300k miles on. It's like. You know, it gets the job done, but you're not you're not trying to sport it. Good old Betsy. That's what she is. Hey Betsy. You need another rain? Yeah, I'm trying to do a gram of caffeine a day. It's like a, a day. it's like a new challenge. Oh no. Do you sleep at night? Yeah. Well uh, no, I'm nocturnal. So <laughs> You're like a possum. Yeah, I'm the possum of strong men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you a chair for you, Joey? Oh, King so Yeah, you've been staying this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm actually dying <laughs> really quickly. Okay, let's see if we can do this. 200 pounds. Absolutely. Yes. Tell Betsy a lover. Beautiful, buddy. Come on. Woo! So you got so much more in you, holy shit. Yay, Joey! I did it! Oh, Sam, what? you're not supposed to be filming this. This is oh, me, oh, this oh, is me this struggling. Is... Okay, we're gonna go they can't to the... See, they can only see the highlights of my life. Okay, hi, uh, likes? Likes? Hi. No, 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 like they, they can only see me when I'm succeeding. They can't see me when I can't Receding? get on. Did you really, you really went there? You really went there? Receding hairline? Grip. Oh God. <laughs> Receding hairline? Uh. Oh, look at that. Real mark. That actually friend feels of all really strong good. Men. Yeah. Feels great. Thank you. Is this Squidward? Is there a penis on my back? No, it's just happy face. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'll see him post, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel after travel and training? Oh, this sucks. <laughs> you feel? I f what, what? How do you feel? Uh, I don't feel great. How? I'm, oh, what? I think there's one word to really summarize it all. I'm tired. That is quite eloquent. Thank you for that summary. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. It's got a big nose. It's a big nose. Big wide eyes. Does it look athletic? It looks really good. Have you ever heard the term? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> That's enough. No. No. That's no. enough. Come on. Nice, that was the best one. Yeah, like if I was a world's strongest man, which I'm not, like I would yeah. I would be Martins. And what I mean by that is You would skin him alive and do like a Buffalo Bill type thing, put the lotion on the skin. Not where I was going, but I like the intent. Uh 
No, but he is athletic background, right? Uh, he likes the Olympic variations, like the jerks and all kind of stuff. So that's kind of what I use to help uh, with what I do, you know? Circus dumbbell log, I'm utilizing jerks, I'm utilizing technique, where, yeah, if you've got the strength, that's awesome, but if you have strength and technique, it's gonna be like a combo that's just chef's kiss. Wow, your mouth speed, is mouth speed is crazy. Dish, 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 dish. What we got over here? What are we? What are oh we my God, right look at the mouse speed. Whoa, whoa! Look at that screen first of all. What is that screen? Look at a surround oh, screen. Right here. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's see what you got. <sighs> Can bodybuilder type? Who? Fifty-five. Fifty-five. <laughs> well, it's my first try doing that. Must compromise. That felt good. That felt really good. Nice, brother. Come on. Push it behind your head. Good, Let's clean. go. Come on. Yeah! Yes! Oh! If you add a little lead to your locker, you might be able to get it. Yeah. It looks like just, just drop your torso in there. I gotta, yeah, I gotta drop more. Uh, yeah. And fix the floor. Yeah, it was kind of like, it was like adventurous, kind of. <laughs> yeah. It was like, what a rush. The ring <laughs> of could, fire. I could break an ankle, <laughs> you know? <laughs> this, is, this is what I live for, this moment <laughs> yeah. right here. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> What's well, gonna snap fear, first? <laughs> a little fear of, yeah. Place your bets, guys. Ankle, wrist, elbow, what's going? Now they're attempting you? Um, we'll see. Maybe a floor isn't yeah. lava. Yeah, I think you could do it. Yeah, I mean, it threw me off a little bit. Um, yeah. I said to commit to it. I'm not committing. I'm gonna be straight up, like, I'm pretty dang tired, but just having fun. And, you know, worst comes to worst, I'll just go a little bit lighter, work technique today. Mm -hmm. Uh, play that close stance deal, and then watch uh, Martins throw up some big weight. Like a lot of people don't understand when we do these collabs. I have flown from all over the place to get here, uh, coming from multiple training trips. I drive eight hours to get here, coming off training. Uh, so we try to put it together for you guys, but sometimes we're just tired. But we're still pretty strong for being pretty tired, I think. You know, I would I would agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you are. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm having fun. I really like watching him and seeing You're, how he operates. Yeah. You are definitely just hoisting men over your head. Yeah, yeah. Your... Not, I guess not many people do that in their free time with their their homies. No, no. So we're just out here. Or drive eight hours to do that. Yeah. When you put it like that, it's kind of like, what am I doing with my life? But I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> She's a tough. Mm. For sure. Yeah. But uh, I, I give the man a lot of credit for throwing around Betsy with me. Um. Uh, yeah, she ain't playing lightly. Uh, but uh, no, it's it's but it's tough, you know. Not every day is gonna be sunshine and rainbows, and you know. But I think that's what makes champions. Like, it's the struggle. It's the. Uh, it's, it's the downward slope sometimes that makes going uphill easier. Would you say like having to train with different implements and under stress will make you a better competitor? Because you oh, for sure, really for sure. Specifically with strongman, is uh, everything's always different. The frames are different. The circus dumbbells are different. The logs are different, and you never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you have for warm ups, which if you have a warm up at all. Uh, so being able to adapt and. Uh, you know, operate in a, under a certain stress level definitely makes you a better competitor overall. Because some people get just get stuck using the same thing, and then they get to a show and they're not used to it at all. Or 
great example is like weightlifters not using colored plates. And then they see colored plates, it seems so basic, but it actually uh, can be a detriment to performance if you're not used to it. Mm. Come on! Let's go! That was awesome. That's a hell of a way to uh, end this video. Yeah. Um, we may or may not have lost monetization. Well, you, you might just uh, voice over that part. We're going to voice over sing that part. Oh, we're going to sing a song. So, uh, how are we yeah. going to close this out? Thank you. Hug? Fist bump? Yeah. Martins? 220. You're an animal. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the video. Something. Guys, follow him, watch him destroy the Arnold. And uh, in the future, we'll probably be doing some stuff together because he's a beast and I'll learn from him. So, yeah, I appreciate you.